To write the Lewis structure for LiBr, lithium bromide, first we'll write Li and then Br. Lithium, that's in group 1 on the periodic table, that's a metal, and then bromine, group 17, 7a, that's a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound. In an ionic compounds, valence electrons are transferred, so we need to take that into account when we write the Lewis structure. So lithium has one valence electron, since it's in group one on the periodic table. Then bromine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7a. It has seven valence electrons. When lithium and bromine come together, the lithium, that'll transfer a valence electron to the bromine, like this. Since electrons are negative and lithium just lost its valence electron, it lost a negative charge, it now has a positive charge. The bromine, that's gained an electron, and electrons are negative again, so the bromine now has a negative charge. And the positive lithium and the negative bromine, those are attracted together, and that forms the ionic bond. By gaining a valence electron, bromine now has eight valence electrons. It has an octet. It's very stable. We should put brackets around the bromine, and that shows that this valence electron was transferred, that they're not sharing electrons and often you'll see brackets around the lithium ion as well. And that makes this the Lewis structure for LiBr, lithium bromide. Note that this is what we call a formula unit. We have a bunch of these in a regularly repeating pattern when we have ionic compounds. That's called a crystal. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for LiBr, lithium bromide. Thanks for watching.